Remember to ask me my opinion about any type of topic of arguments relating to Christianity and whatever else is going on in this world. My natural instinct is to be indifferent because we are under constitutional rights to be able to freely express and freely live out our lives in whatever culture, custom, and religion that we believe that we desire to practice. I have my agreements and I have my disagreements. I will have my stance and I will have my limits. Under no circumstances do I ever want to be in opposition. This is why my choice of words is to be indifferent. But my action will always be to serve and to help. So while, and I do hope that people can take this with a grain of salt, with all the discussions and examples that I'm going to bring up in this video, as an example, while I do not agree with certain standings of the LGBTQ community, I will still openly serve and love them because while we were still as we are, or as the scriptures put it, while we were still sinners, Christ still died for us. To the very people that were killing him, he still expressed love. And I want to try to live my life in the same example. And so with that being said, with this movie awareness, I want to first safely put out this. I have no opposition for the groups that were in this movie, the, the focus group, the, the satanic temple. I have no oppositions against Satanists. I have no open conflict with Lucian Greaves. I will not ever say anything that I would find disapproving because at the moment, um, that's not what I'm about. In fact, not at the moment, that's what I will never be about. I know where my stance is in my life and that's what I'm gonna live by. And I will respect the stance of whatever else or whoever else believes their life should be. That won't stop me from serving and that won't stop me from loving. And it will never prompt me to hate. It will never prompt me to oppose. Particularly in this country where our biggest policies is freedom of religious practices, freedom of our speech, freedom of our expressions. Now with that being said, like I said, I have no oppositions against the satanic group, but I have a distaste for this movie. I just didn't like the way that the director went about with this movie. I was very, very disappointed by the editing that was in this movie. It was supposed to be a um, documentary of the rise of the modern Satanism group. Why I watched it? Well, I was just curious of what was premiering at the, the, the theaters at the time. And it just caught my attention and I was very curious about the atmosphere of how religious liberty are, liberties are nowadays. So if you guys are curious, that's the reason why I watched this movie. I was very curious on what the atmosphere is like as of right now. And I really believe that the movie would be a um, following of the, um, of the Satanic Temple and their practices of trying to establish non-violent, constitutionally protected freedom of religion. Their beliefs should not be the main focus their constitutional right was and this is what I was hoping that this was this movie was about and granted it did have that but it it was edited in a way where it made it look like it had opposition which in truth it did but the opposition was extremely I don't know if it meant to be but it had the feel of biasness 
which you could say that I'm being biased because I am a Christian and even after watching this movie I am still a Christian I went to this movie as a Christian I left as a Christian you could probably say my perspective is biased which is understandably so but as a movie reviewer amateur at best but still as a movie reviewer it had that feel I don't believe it was the attention of the satanic church I don't believe it was the attention of Lucius Greaves to make it feel biased but it did the editing choices that they used to represent the Republican Party and the Catholic Churches was very selective to make it look aggressive and not violent, but hateful. And throughout the entire movie, it didn't feel like a perspective look on how a religious group is formed in America. It just felt like a fight throughout the entire movie, this opposition between the Christian community and the Satanic Temple. It almost seems like the, the expression of religious liberties was an afterthought, and that the real main focus was the conflict between the two ideals. It shouldn't have been the main focus, particularly when they have interviews with Lucian Greaves. Throughout the entire movie, throughout enti his entire interviews, he he himself, which is the reason why I'm bringing this person up so much, in any of his interviews that was included in this movies, he never once expressed ideals of opposition towards the Christian community. He was focused on just what community services can be provided by the Satanic Temple. But when the Christians were portrayed in this movie, it was, it was very dark and it was very hurtful. And I won't disagree with the topics that they bring up. The church has made mistakes. We all understand that. But we have to also understand that the church is an institution run by man, established and should be headed by Jesus the Spirit and God the Father. But God chose man to run his church and man makes mistakes and in the same way that the Satanist group wanted to say that their mistakes should not label them it should have been fair to say that mistakes that the Christian church has done shouldn't label them as well I understand that there are Christians who do protest out of hate but not all Christian groups do that I understand that there are some Christian groups who were unable to explain their um, arguments clearly and had them appear biased and closed-minded and unconstitutional. But not all Christians are like that. This movie failed to do that. There was one particular editing that the movie did that I found was very tragically delivered poorly. In the beginning of the film, the Satanic group wanted to build a monument as a form of religious expression. And the audience like that I was in, like they were cheering and they were thinking like, oh, that's, that's great, that's very progressive, that's, that, that's, that's constitutionally protected. Later on in the movie, as almost as like the, the final conflict opposition, a Christian senator in Arkansas wanted, also wanted to put up a monument. His process was the same as the Satanic group. And really, I, I viewed it as there was no difference. There was no difference that in what he expressed in wanting to build this monument. The, it, was a, it was a Ten Commandments monument. He wanted to uh, erect it as an expression of religious belief and his belief that the laws of the Bible correlates with the laws of Arkansas. He believed that it is a good moral um, standard. Um, it's a good moral example for everyone. He did not build it out of corruption or extortion. Everything was publicly and legally donated to help prop this monument up. And the audience was booing because the edit work made it look like he was a villain. They ch chose particular interviews of him opposing the satanic temple which i can understand um, that's not a very good image but they also played very um, 
aggressive music in the background um, with lyrics that sang about oppression and how oppressive um, the, the quote-unquote masters of industries are. So you have two examples of the exact same goals doing the exact same process because the satanic monument was also a um, expression of religious um, liber liberties. It was also an expression of the viewings of good moral standards. Like they, they picked out specific symbolisms and iconographies that represented good intentions and good ideals. It was legally and publicly donated. And yet, that's seen as progressive. But when a Christian senator wants to do the exact same thing with the exact same practice for the exact same reasons, that's oppressive. If you wanted to make a movie about religious liberties, it should be equal on both sides. You shouldn't establish a protagonist and an antagonist in a documentary film that's all about freedom of religious expressions. And so again, I, I have nothing against any of the religious groups that were in this community. I have nothing against Lucius Graves. Whatever that he does that's a benefit to the community and that's constitutionally protected, he should keep doing. But what this director, and what this filmmaker has done in order to portray that, by showing Christians as hateful citizens, it was really difficult. And, he, and, he, and here's the thing, it's like there's, there's another part of this movie that like it had like these testimonies of previous Christians turned Satanists and they were describing of like the, the, the closed-minded um, bureaucracies of Christian churches, which I can agree can happen, has happened, I've been through that as well, but well, let, me, let, me, let me put this out to help out with the perspective that I have with this movie. My mom and dad know, knows about this. They just didn't know the label that goes with what I was going through. In middle school, I was an introverted, pessimistic, nihilistic occultist. I didn't believe in the church. I believed in the worst of humanity. I believed that things were getting worse and it will never get better and that we were all doomed and that we should all try to pursue pleasures and happiness, but I had no chance because I was part of a creation that was faulty, making me faulty, and everything about me was broken and incapable and unable, doomed. I was suicidal, I was pessimistic, I was depressed, and I was grieving. I was aware about the pleasures of freedom. I was aware about the fun of being able to chase after what makes you happy, but that's for only the popular people. I had no chance. And then around high school, I saw that Jesus was a real person that could save me. It wasn't the church that saved me, it was a person, it was Jesus, the Spirit and God the Father. I can agree with a lot with the testimonies in this movie. But I'm still a Christian because I know who saved me and knows Jesus. The system is faulty, but God isn't. Man makes mistakes, but God doesn't. He's perfect. And he's a God of love. This movie portrayed no love. So if at any time you just see this movie and you are perked by curiosity, or if you encounter somebody who has seen this movie, Please be aware that the topic of religious liberties is constitutionally protected and should be supported. Not every Christian is a hateful person. No. Our God is a God of love and we should be a community about love. I am lucky that I was blessed with a church group that does love. I am lucky that I know of church friends who do love. I am aware of people who sometimes misinterpret their passions and become a bit aggressive. But it's always been about love. 
and this movie hasn't been about love and I do hope that people could be aware of that.